Hello, BookTube. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Phillips Books. I'm Elizabeth. And today, as I'm filming this, it is Saturday evening, January something, and I just finished filming a book haul video of my miscellaneous books that I've acquired over the past few months. And I think while I'm in the mood to film, I'm going to go ahead and film one more video that I will probably not upload until maybe Sunday or Monday. But anyway, whenever you see this, I hope that you are doing well and having a great day. And what I want to show you today are the books that are for younger readers, either middle grade or YA. Probably most of these are completely appropriate for either. And I have gotten all of these used and some of them I got for free. I don't even remember where I got all of them, but um, I just want to show them to you. Now, I've already read at least three of these, and the one I was most excited to find is this nice hardcover of the fourth Penderwicks book, Penderwicks in Spring by Jean Birdsall. This is a series that I love. In fact, I am currently buddy reading book five, Penderwicks at Last, with Krista from Books and Jams. We just started yesterday, and I want to collect this whole series. I think I have all of them now except for the third one, Penderix at Point Muet. And I've got them all in hardcover. So yay for that. I'm excited to have these for my shelves. They are definitely books that I would reread. I have adored all of them. And then another book that I have listened to on audio is the third book in the Tillerman cycle called Solitary Blue by Cynthia Voigt. I would love to find this in hardcover. I've got a really neat hardcover of the first book. And uh, I have the second book, Dicey Song, in a paperback mass market like this. And uh, these are just kind of hard to find, and our library doesn't even have all of them. They do have this one, but anyway, I saw it somewhere, and I thought, oh, I should just go ahead and grab that. It's a seven-book series, and this is as far as I've gotten with the series, um, just the first three, and I'm really looking forward to reading more of that series. And then here is a uh, two books out of a trilogy. I have read book two before I ever knew that it was part of a series. So that being said, I think it would be perfectly fine to read them out of order because there was no problem, you know, understanding what was happening. Although I am really looking forward to reading the second book. So the one I have read, both of these are by Andrew Clements. As I said, it's a trilogy. And uh, book two is Things Hoped For. Sorry, there's a glare. And this is about a young girl who wants to be a musician, or she is a musician, and now she's going to school in New York City, and she's planning to stay with her grandfather, I believe, and she gets there and he has disappeared. He has left her a note, but she doesn't know where he is, and so she goes ahead and proceeds with school and life, but she's a little bit... Uh, afraid being where she is. Uh, I think he lived in a brownstone or, and so she's there by herself. She does meet some friends, at least one friend, and there's some other characters that come into play. There's also an uncle who is kind of scary. He keeps coming and beating on the door and she won't let him in because she doesn't really trust him. And I think that was one of the things in her, uh, the note from her grandfather that he said to her in that note, you know, if your uncle comes, don't let him in. So anyway, I, I it's been years since I read that, and I have a I have an old audio copy of it that I got at a library sale. So when I found this one and the first book at a fill a bag library sale at my library just a couple of days ago, I went ahead and grabbed them both because honestly, without looking at a list, I couldn't remember which one I'd read and which one I hadn't read. And I knew I only had an audio copy. I didn't have either of these in um, physical form. So this is book one, Things Not Seen. Now, I don't want to tell you kind of how this relates, but this is about a boy who wakes up one day and he has become invisible. That's all I'm going to say. And he is a character in the second book, and I'm going to be really excited to read his backstory. He tells a little bit about it in the second book. So this series is a little bit supernatural, but I love Andrew Clements. My favorite book by him is Frindle. If you have not read that, that is just a fantastic book. I love that so much. But anyway, there is a third book now. This The whole series is called Things. And I can't remember the title of the third one, but uh, it's definitely one that I would want to read as well. And then I have another book that I found at that same fill bag sale. This is an old Sunshine State book. I think this is from the year that I first started reading them when Katie was in the sixth grade. That particular year was kind of the first year 
that I really started to understand that whole Sunshine State program. And I read some of the books, but not all of them. Otherwise, I would have gotten to this one. So this is one that I did not read. It's called Dead City. And I had forgotten that it was by James Ponty. He wrote the, or is writing the Framed series, which really should be called the Toast Mysteries. But anyway, I've read the first three. They're awesome. And I really have enjoyed that series, so I'm sure that I would enjoy this, and I think that James Ponty is a Floridian. So, uh, anyway, Dead City by James Ponty. And then I mentioned, if you saw my other book haul, that I found a used bookstore in Gainesville. In addition to Second and Charles, there's another independent used bookstore, and I believe, um, oh, actually, no, um, I'm getting mixed up. This book I did find at Second and Charles, and I think I bought one other one there, and I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, this is Independent Study by Joelle Charbonneau. This is book two in the Testing Trilogy. I have read the first one. The Testing was a Sunshine State book way back, um, I, maybe even before I ever started reading them. But I have read that one. I can't even remember. Maybe it was somewhere around that time, that, that same time when Katie was in middle school. Anyway, I've read the testing, and then this is the book two. I have the third one, which is Graduation Day, and it's a dystopian series. If you like Hunger Games and things like that, then I think you would probably enjoy this trilogy as well. And Well, at least the first one, because that's the only one I've read so far. And a couple of old ones, a couple of classics. This one, I believe, is um, or was published during my birth year, and I don't think I've ever actually read it. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. And so I found it somewhere, and I thought, oh, I should get that, because one of these years, one of these days, I'm going to have another challenge to read something that was published the year I was born, and uh, this is one that I haven't read. And then this is a um, Newbery winner that I have not read. I think it's on audio, maybe on Scribd or Hoopla, and I'll probably be listening to it. But I ran across this uh, somewhere. This is Rifles for Weighty by Harold Keith. I guess it's Weighty. It might be Waddy. I'm not even sure. And I don't remember even what decade this is from. It's not the 60s, so it's either, it's probably 40s or 50s. And I'm not going to be able to see that fine print with my without my glasses. Anyway, it's an older one. And it looks like it... I don't know if it has to do with... I should know by the uniforms if it's Civil War or Revolutionary War. Civil War. Okay, so it is. it takes place in the Civil War. And that is it for my middle grade slash YA book haul. And if you have read any of these, let me know. If there's any of these you want to read, let's chat about that in the comments. And I hope to be back soon with another video. Let me know um, if you... Um, I lost track of what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.